Oh, hi there. I didn't realize I was out of focus for a split second and then popped right back in reliably so on a Fuji system that they seem to have fixed all their issues. I have a Fuji X-H2 as you're looking at it. If it lost me one second of that, I'm sending it back to Aiden camera. Let's all go to Aiden camera tonight. All I want is the perfect camera All I want is the perfect camera So we got it, I figure we just do a little couple tests in here The videos will follow to come I'll compare it with the Sony a7S III dynamic range Do a bunch of vlog tests, compare it to the Fuji X-T4 Right now I just want to see a couple stuffs Yesterday I put some b-roll in that footage Slow motion it kept losing my ass, although high frame rates in no light whatsoever, understandable, but it did hunt. When I threw the apples up, gone. So right now we're in 1080p, but a DCI 17 by nine ratio, nostalgic neg. I was thinking pretty pleasing. Not bad, except the accuracy of this shirt is nowhere near. It looks orange to me there, it's red here. Let's see if they have fixed me not being able to change. Oh, man. Oh, man, they didn't fix anything. I wanted to change film simulations while recording. I know they couldn't foresee a reason anybody would ever do that, but I would, and I would have just done it, and we would have all benefited, but we can't. So I have to stop and start. Oh, they have a new thing. Manual focus override. Oh, wow. So it just works. And then, what if I move away? So it stays there. What if I half press the shutter? Yeah, oh. And then we're back and tracking. That is, oh my God, Fuji. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with this new direction. Classic neg. I switched it. Still orange on that shirt. Fuji likes orange reds. We know that for sure. I'm gonna see if I can make myself as ugly as I did on that Sony video the other day. Can we do something like that in a Fuji? This is unfortunately as ugly as I can get. It's not even that ugly, Fuji. It's bullshit. Sharpening all the way up, color all the way up. Velvia, which is their vivid. Come on, man. Okay, I want to do a little dynamic range comparison test. We're in Astia, light here, window there. That was my previous light. And now we switch to F-Log and then F-Log 2. I don't know that we'll learn anything because I'm in aperture priority. We're not setting any different settings. But we could learn. Okay, now we're in F-Log 1. I'm just, I wish I could customize a button to do F-Log or put F-Log in the same section as the film simulations, because it's, I find this really annoying. Certain camera companies, I think all of them do this at some point where you want to change one setting, but not all the settings are there. Like Olympus autofocus, you want to switch off from like face detect to animal. There's a bunch of different things in different sections that you have to do for video at least. But it's really annoying if I want to just use one of the film sims and then turn on F-Log quick, I have to dive into the menu to do it. It should be something easier. Life shouldn't be so hard. So did life get better? F-Log 1? Window highlights retained? Let's go to F-Log 2. Okay, we're in F-Log 2 now for some reason. This seems to be showing the LUT, whereas F-Log 1 wasn't. It was looking pretty flat, so I can't see any difference right now. I mean, I do see a big difference, and I shouldn't. The highlights are retained no matter what. Fuji's doing that. So did I have any shadows I could have boosted? Maybe that speaker is a shadow, and I've been boosting it and showing you the noise in the floor. Floor noise. We're on the 18 mil 1.4, by the way. 10-bit 420, and I seem to be able to edit these files no problem. Thank you. The 422 was a little huff and buffer on that one. So it's like a Canon file. That's a problem. All right, we're back in Astia. I want to see if the HD 240 frames per second looks much worse. 
than this. So next to me is a man troubled. I, I don't know what he's doing. He's slow, not just in his movements, but like in the brain. He can't like keep a conversation going. He just reverts to, oh, I saw a comic book. It was pretty cool once. You can't see a comic book. You have to read it. He can't read. It's unfortunate for all of us, but he's, he's not well. So send him your help and he might be okay. Is it worse? 1080p? Still, we're both 1080p, right? Right? No. Okay, now next to 4K 120p. This is just HD. That should look much better. And I definitely set the same white balance. I don't know what you're talking about. It's clearly, I wouldn't have forgotten something like that. He's, he's the troubled one, not me. I, I just do my job correctly. I'm good at my job. I don't suck at it. What are you talking about? This is good. So is it better or worse? Okay, you're on a toilet. I'm in a bathroom. Let's learn together. We're doing a low light test. Shutter speed 48, 21.4, ISO 3200. How's it look? Is there any towel noise? And then let's just use the dial to change the, the ISO in the back, the back to, oh, that's not working. Uh, I can't do that. I have to actually press a button, a disgusting button, and then use a dial to, oh God, what is this archaic system? I should have turned zebras on so I could judge exposure to keep it the same, but whatever. We're ISO 6400. Not bad. So far, so good. Autofocus, still doing stuff. Seems very responsive and snappy, unless you're in slow motion and low light. Okay, here's the max 12,800. I feel like I lowered exposure slightly. Oh, I'm not even paying attention to the metering. It's right there for me to use to my advantage. It's saying plus one metering. Seriously? I judged this as like perfect and it says plus one. Give me a break. Give me a break right now. Let me see what zero would look like. Yeah, okay. Yeah, like this is what anybody wants. Yeah, this is perfectly exposed. You're a loser, Fuji. You've always been. Lowering that light. Oh, yeah, you hunt. In complete darkness, you can't vlog in the bathroom. A deal breaker. Okay, we're in classic chrome, and I've switched to auto white balance. And we will walk through the various white balance situations. Here's an interesting one. Orange tungsten, my light is still on, and a window light. A little purple. A little purple. Not terrible. I'm not judging you. It's a hard situation. You can see my light in the mirror. Backlitten. Classic chrome dynamic range being displayed to you in full effect. A lot of lights, a lot of different mixed light sources. I tried to match the temperature with that and the, that one, but the sun comes out sometimes. Natural window light. Skin tones prevailing. I saw a step, an exposure step. That's unwelcomed. Not happy about that. And then an actual light here. I'm such a moron. That whole thing was at 12,800 ISO because I didn't change it back to auto. Oh, that's on me. That one's on me. So we're back in Astia, learning nothing. Just a first impressions type of thing. I'm just trying to maintain here. Just relax. Back in Astia, I do want to test something. I've already forgot what I wanted to test. Oh yeah, 18 mil, 1.8 would replicate the Sigma 18 to 35 1.8 on the C100. So now, is this a YouTube friendly focal length? We would have a Canon C, I would have to stay like right in the middle of the frame for it to have a chance, but I could manual focus from there. A little manual focus override. Not bad. Can't punch in. Can I punch in on anything? How do you punch in? No punch. Oh, there's no punch. So if the Canon C100 Mark II has good peaking, I could theoretically have that as my YouTube camera if the screen is as nice as this one pretends to be. Fuji peaking's good. I'm loving these custom modes, by the way. They're on the left side for some reason, but they switch instantly. For some reason, Sony 
A7S3, you switch your custom mode, you then have to confirm it with another button. It's the most annoying thing, and it's like a leggy switch. Like, it takes a while. It's so annoying. Apparently, that's been fixed on the A7 IV. When are we getting these updates? I don't understand it. Like, all this stuff that should be in your higher-end camera is not making it there. It's so frustrating we're in Eterna. So flat and so beautiful. So like these custom modes, and you can name them. So I have like 4K 120p, HD 240p, like it's all there. There's like that back button switch. You know how you want to switch to manual focus or autofocus? I mapped it to the back button. So then you just press it, not while recording. You son of a bitch. While you're stopped recording, there's a lot of quirks we gotta find out things we're not allowed to do for some reason but you just press it and then it's just a two press instead of like the left hand button and then switching stuff so remap that button to either the top or the bottom you'll be okay I also like that when you're saving custom modes you can choose whether or not you want it to change a setting sometimes like you have all your settings but I want to switch it and keep it switched or not keep it always saved you can do one or the other we're in to Lee I'll leave but the last thing ProRes high quality HQ that scares me how big are these files gonna be I do have a CF Express card it's a Delkin 128 gigahertz not bad not bad so first impressions I'm happy you could totally it feels much improved over the XT4 just more reliable but we'll see what happens out in the field when we do wildlife animal eye detect 4k 120p are you latching I know there's gonna be quirks it seems like you can't set a box for it to focus on it just if you put subject detection on bird eye it just goes everywhere no matter what there's no setting it that's going to be a problem because then you can't choose the bird you want like I tried it the other day so if we look at my Instagram right now right now it's choosing the frog it's choosing that frog's got an eye box right on the frog switch into the body that bird it's completely ignoring it's still on the frog <laughs> like still on the frog it has a box around him no longer eye now it's doing this bird eye detect that's nice. Sorry for this terrible footage with the screen all weird, but that's what we got. So what do you think so far? I'll do the test. I'll do better stuff outside. Relax. It's just the first impressions. All right, we're gonna go. YouTube. I love that. So many of you have that going on in your life side of a color that's wonderful thanks for sharing that creativity with the world i'm gonna go